SilentHeroFilms.com. SilentHeroFilms.com. In the middle of a workout. And while I got this time, I want to comment on, thank y'all for sending it to me. Even though I, I, I believe I still would have saw it because it's the most popular topic in boxing. Second to PBC not having no money, which I predicted. Showtime leaving boxing, which I predicted. Exactly. And don't forget to win the first five hours of your day. All right. Um, Jerron Ennis and Terrence Crawford. And this is the only place you're going to get this take from. Okay. Um, let's start with Terrence Crawford. I've had one interaction with Terrence Crawford on the one-on-one -on -one level. And I can honestly say Terrence Crawford is the person that he is, that he looks like on TV. Like, very straightforward, uh, real, uh, kind of kind of a, a lethal demeanor, meaning that he probably can be lethally happy and lethally, like, against you, in which he was against me. And I think, like I told you guys before, I didn't want to cross that threshold at all. <laughs> I'm not no lying YouTuber. <laughs> I'm not <laughs> one of no parts of Terrence Crawford. And Terrence Crawford is in his awareness phase, right? He's in his awareness phase. And uh, <clears throat> and the reality is he's learning about boxing, which I tried to accelerate it, but it was deemed as hate years ago. And now on some levels, him and his team will appreciate me because I was giving him the information before he was ready to receive it. And the last thing is, um, you know what the sanctioning body is? Why are you still paying them? Let's say it's probably easier this way. Why are you still paying them? That's all I'm saying. Why? 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 Tell me why you're still paying. Why? Why? Because it's the boxing way. Just asking. Yes, those are blinds that are designed by an interior decorator and they're designed specifically for this window. Yes. <laughs> There's not, these are the Home Depot blinds. Anyways. <laughs> my ego is getting the best of me as it does all the time. Right. But the reality is, um, it's time for y'all to step up, right? You say you want to seat at the table Well, they pimping you. They don't, they don't, they would never tell a man to his face and call him the B word. No, they just put you in position to be a B. Let me say that again. No promoter, because they don't want to stop their stream of income. They want to keep you a bobo to fool. Um, <clears throat> they will never tell Terrence Crawford and every other champion, everybody in the sanctioned body, they won't call you a B. They just put you in position to act like a B. You're complaining about a belt that you have to pay for. <laughs> it's like we talk about slavery so much. But what's not in history is the African government or parliament or tribe leaders or kings or queens that actually created some type of bartering system, some type of capitalistic system that enslaved black people. They won't put that in the history books. Uh-uh. We wasn't captured. <laughs> you can't capture. Listen. You can't capture somebody that you can see coming from a thousand miles away. It was no airplanes back then, man. It was ships. <laughs> Anyways, man. And uh, and now they have deemed they have they have hid it in in the name of humanity, in the name of uh, American Red Cross. Now, who owns those mines? Africa is the only country with all the resources. It's a cradle of civilization. But they call it humanitarian work. It's called exploration. 
<laughs> we'll save that for a different video. Um, Y'all just going to be spoon fed. Just like America is bigger than Africa on the map. We'll talk about that at a later date. We won't talk about that now. Anyhow, as I most famously eloquently say, digress back into the reality. Terrence Crawford, it's time to man up. You say you want to see at the table. You want to create your own table. You disagreeing with Oscar de Hoya. Why are you arguing over belts? Why are you paying them? That's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. And as it goes for Jerron Ennis. Who's going to pay for your fights? <laughs> they put you in the corner, man. You in timeout, dog. This puts your career in timeout. Y'all don't see it. People in Philadelphia celebrate. They're going to use terms, email champ. No, they cornering you. Simply put, they cornering you. That's it. And you say, I, I, I can hear the wolves crying out. Well, Tim Zhu, same thing. But guess what? Tim Zhu got money behind him. Jerron Ennis has no money behind him, has no network behind him, has nothing behind him. Talking about people turn down fights. How do you know, Jerron, they turn down fights if you're not paying them? Listen to what I'm saying. When I hang out with you guys, I got to take care of my plumber and I got to take care of my videographer. I got to take care of my, I got to make three phone calls before 9.15 because I have a, a, uh, a, uh, a FaceTime business call at 9.15, right? And I got about 15 minutes. And uh, I think so, because I don't see the clock. I don't have a clock in the gym. You don't never put clocks in your gym. That's all I'm saying. That, that's a tip from the wealth if you want to get in shape. Um, <clears throat> um, just go hard. And and uh, the clock is your heart rate. And, 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 and as a as I eloquently say, digress back into the reality of what I said. I'm trying to grab it, what the hell I said. Uh, Terrence, oh yeah, Terrence Crawford. Who's paying for your fights? I'm calling these, I'm calling people that support me to do the payment, uh, et cetera. Had a late practice yesterday and I didn't get to LA yesterday. I normally pay on Thursdays, but me being an intelligent time saver, I'm like, hold up. There's not going to be any traffic on Friday because it's Veterans Day. So let me just take care of everything Saturday morning. And I'm not going to be able to get over there. So I'm just going to Venmo. I'm going to create a digital uh, uh, receipt and just pay them that way. Yeah, put it in the notes. Pay it that way. And monthly Venmo, Cash App, they send you a monthly statement. <laughs> and then you print it out and you put it in your books and... Anyways, so who's paying for your fights? The government is behind Tim Zhu. Um, I forget the name of their promotional company, but they got money behind them. They have infrastructure behind them. You can't, Jerron Ennis and all you other fighters are talking about people turning down fights. How do you know they turned down fights if you're not sending the money? So you got a third party? that You got a third party that's representing 100 other fighters and you believe them. <laughs> now you sound like some of these dumb NBA players that's being represented by these big agencies. Oh yeah, we did it. No, you didn't. <laughs> An NBA agency will never put their agency on the line for one athlete. And the same goes holds true for a promotional company. They will never go all in on one. Al didn't do it for Floyd. Bob didn't do it for Pacquiao. Don didn't do it for, for Mike. And which leads me to another point. Mike Tyson was more feared than Jerron in this. Yeah. So what are you leading to, Fred? Anybody will fight anybody for money. You got to have the money. Frank Bruno came over here twice for a fight. Razor Ruddock wanted a rematch. Mitch Blood Green wanted a rematch. Street and in the ring. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? 
So all these misconceptions, yeah, he's great. He's dynamic. I ain't seen nothing like him since Zab Judah. I'm talking about just naturally gifted and power in both hands, just slipping and rolling and countering and leading with uppercuts. Man, it's different. You're different, Jerron, but you don't have control of your business. You're being led. These boxers, and I'm the first person to say this, these boxers are big dogs with long leashes. That's Lincoln going in the backyard to shoot. You heard that's every door has a different sound on it. Y'all got to step up your alarm game so you know which door is opening. <laughs> Anyways, um, <clears throat> um, uh, yeah, you got to, yeah, big dogs with long leashes. You guys are pawns. And this is why my voice sounds different. This is why y'all don't like me. Because I can just tell you the truth. Anyways, so Jerron Ennis and Terrence Crawford, you guys got two, I'm giving you guys two homework assignments. Jerron Ennis, you want power? Pay for your own fights. Dictate the terms. Get you a guy that will, uh, um, go all in on you and pay for your fights and hope for a return. Terrence Crawford, the man I met at the MGM, didn't meet. I wouldn't say meet. I didn't shake your hand, but you got to be him in, in business. You're walking towards that way, but now is the time. You and Earl Spence say, we fighting. We don't need no belts. We keeping that money. Put the fight in Texas. It'll sell out. Earl Spence ain't got no promoter. Terrence Crawford ain't got no promoter. Y'all put the fight on yourself and get that $15 million. Each. You're going to get about $300,000 out of buy the pay-per-view probably. and You build it up. Press tour. You keep the gate. I'm giving y'all too much game because y'all not going to listen to me anyway. Y'all going to listen to call Al. Y'all going to listen to thank Al. Call Al. Thank Al. Al is my savior. It's the... It's the father, son, and Al Heyman. <laughs> Al Heyman. What what Barack the Bully said, Barack Bass, shout out to him. He says, y'all thanking Al Heyman before you thank God. Call Al. Y'all should have been saying, call Fred. Y'all should have been saying, call Fred. You should have been saying, call Fred. <laughs> My blinds are designed. <laughs> But those you don't know, they come in, they do the measurements. They got like 14, 15 different materials you pick from. And you see them hustling back into the truck. And you know what I mean? Anyways, man, what is, it's really a van. It's not a truck. But you know what I mean? And you pick your color and, you know, you pick the material. And, and they tell you, oh, this will keep, if you put it blind, the blinds won't go. It keeps your temperature down in your house. It's temperature control. Y'all yeah, learn all that. In the meantime, in between time, y'all have a great day. Jerron Ennis, you're a world champion now. You have no power. Terrence Crawford, don't let them use you. Don't let them use you. Who cares if you win or lose against Canelo? Go get that money. Go get that money and retire. Go love on your family. You got, what, 15, 20 acres, it look like? That, that's what I'm doing. I'm happy with my handful of million dollars. I don't need no more. Handful, two handfuls. <laughs> but you get what I'm saying? At least two handfuls at this point. But I, I'm happy. I'm at peace. My son is playing in the... Y'all hear the ball. I can hear the ball bounce. So I know you can hear the ball bouncing. I'm at peace. I'm stay at home poppy. I gotta make I gotta make these three phone calls before 9 15. So I gotta go. But anyways, man, y'all have a beautiful day. May or may not come apart too, and I always never come back. But anyway, hopefully you guys learned a lot. All right, don't ever forget. We were capitalism made us slaves. Not Totola. Not a not a a uh a uh Totola. Totarian, totarianism, is that what it's called? Uh, not uh, a monarchy, not uh, uh, 
a civilization. You can't control something. If I can see a ship coming from 500 miles away, 100 miles away, you can see the tides coming in, the waves are getting higher, and you come on shore and you can take over my country, it's impossible. If I could see someone coming to rob my house from 20 miles away, you think they gonna, y'all know I'm a, y'all know I'm a gun owner. <laughs> you think, I'm gonna call all my friends, man, they coming. I'm gonna call the police. We gonna be waiting, the SWAT team gonna be waiting. The FBI gonna be waiting. I'm a law-abiding, tax-paying citizen. But they won't tell you that side of the story, just like the fighters won't tell you that, that they're willing participants, just like the Africans. They were willing participants in selling black people. Fighters are willing participants in selling their soul for fame and fortunes. I'm not. I created my my fortune. Don't need the fame. That's why I am. That's why I'm him. Y'all have a great day. Go on. Peace.